Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 3rd of November. I'm James Spann. Nothing but sunshine across Alabama today will be dry through the weekend. And eyes are on Ada. This is on the coast of Nicaragua. What's that thing going to do once it gets back into the Caribbean later this week? A lot of questions here, so let's dive in and talk about it. There is the upper air look across the country this afternoon. Ridging over the central U.S., we have a northwest flow aloft and a very dry air mass. Much of the country, I mean much of the United States, with bright sunny weather today. Amazingly quiet and calm for Election Day. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s. Birmingham at 68. Tonight will not be as cold as last night. There's the watch warning map, very quiet, no severe weather through tonight, and not a lot of rain around here for a while. This is the rain for the next seven days. Pretty big numbers out across the Great Plains and the Corn Belt, but for Alabama, basically dry through Monday of next week. Maybe some rain just beyond this period. So let's focus on Ada. This thing is just nasty. It's just sitting on the coast of Nicaragua, just spinning and spinning and spinning all night, all morning. Horrible conditions there. Drifting west at 3 miles per hour. Max winds 140 miles an hour. And this thing finally starts to move inland. And if the core can stay intact, and that's a big if, coming through Honduras and Guatemala, it emerges back into the Caribbean and becomes a tropical storm again Sunday morning. And again, that's a big if. This thing might not survive. We'll see. This is the tropical model set, and you can see that... Uh, most of them bring it across Cuba. Most of the models bring it up into the eastern Gulf, a few into the Atlantic. This is the European Ensemble. Most of the members are in the eastern Gulf, and then it recurves northeast, a little east and south of Alabama. And if this is correct, Alabama would be on the dry side, but we don't know at this point. It's just way too early to call. And here's the intensity guidance, and really most models keep this core intact for the next five days. Let's look at the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Ridging building, beautiful day, sunny with low 70s. Thursday, sunny with low 70s. This is Friday, we'll be in the mid-70s, we'll call it partly sunny. Ada is approaching the Yucatan Channel. Saturday, we're still dry, we'll call it partly sunny with mid-70s. Ada over Cuba, and this is Sunday. Again, we're dry, partly sunny, mid-70s. And if this happens to verify, Ada would be up around Tampa Bay. But the Europeans is not so fast. It's on the northern coast of Cuba. We just don't know at this point. Monday, back to the GFS. It's got Ada in the Gulf, south of Apalachicola. Uh, this is suggesting we're still probably dry Monday. And this is a week from today, Tuesday the 10th, uh, ridging over New England, troughing over the western half of the country. And if this would be correct, Ada, just a week low, would be over the Florida Panhandle, and we would have a pretty good chance of rain on Tuesday the 10th. We'll go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, Friday the 13th of November. Big trough in the west, ridge in the east, and we're dry. We'll take a look at the European for Friday the 13th, and it's got what would be Ada just off the coast of South Carolina near Charleston as a weak surface low. But again, that's all speculation right now. We just we got to see if this thing even survives the journey through Central America. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about an inch and a half as rain chances increase by mid-month. Highs go back in the 70s for a while. No more frost or freeze issues for a while. Lows, in fact, will be in the 60s by uh, the weekend and early next week as moisture levels rise. Here's the CPC outlook, brand new. This is November 11th through the 17th, cold in the west and pretty mild in the east because of the high amplitude. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.